Nigerians have been urged to show support to women and girls who are victims of sexual and gender-based violence whenever they are ready to speak up. Founder of Women at Risk International Foundation, Kemi Da Silva Ibru, gave this charge at the conclusion of another cycle of gatekeepers' projects aimed to sensitize first responders of gender-based violence. Justin Akadonye tells us more. The incidence of gender-based violence is growing astronomically with the activities of insurgency and other issues, from forced and early marriages to the physical, mental or sexual assault on a woman. Nearly three in ten Nigerian women have experienced physical violence by the age of 15. Women at Risk International Foundation Warif seeks to end these courts with the Gatekeepers Project. Oftentimes, victims are stigmatized, shamed, and not even believed when they are bored enough to finally speak out. Now, we have communities that enable and encourage survivor shaming. Women are forced to remain silent on their abuse because they're not encouraged to speak out. Whether it's in a family where the facade and the hypocrisy of the family name is perhaps more important. What we're looking at to do as an organization is sensitize more people so they understand that beyond wanting to settle it within the family, there is a need for the survivor to access care from places like the Warrior Center and also for the perpetrator to, the, to be brought, brought to book. Victims of gender-based violence would always need intervention, referrals, and justice. These first responders speak of their involvement. In the case of the religiously does, it, is, it has encouraged a lot of sensitizations and even empowered us intellectually. The so-called, these boys, these wayward boys at the bus stops, at the community, I went so low to the, to the community, to the landlord association, to train them. Just last month, the Lagos state government disclosed that 10,007 cases of sexual and gender-based violence were reported in the state since May 2019 till August this year. But what more can be done in ensuring that women and girls are secure? In seeking to address the problem and working in these communities, it was very quick for us to recognize, again, the sphere of influence of traditional leaders and religious leaders, because these are leaders that mediate cases on gender-based violence. It is imperative that the authorities make more efforts to understand the underlying causes and dynamics of this growing menace if only to redeem the stability of the family unit and consequently the larger society. Justin Akadonye for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.